ladies and gentlemen under the uh, Toyota here with a 1G RFE doing the uh, starter on this thing. But I want to give you guys one tip, one, one, one piece of advice. This top bolt is the hardest part of the whole job. It's a 14 millimeter and what you need to get, it's right there where, where the flashlight is. What you need to get is a um, 14 millimeter deep 12 point socket in the long breaker bar to get that thing loose. All right, this one right here, easy peasy, all the connections back there, super simple. That is the hardest part of the whole job is to get that top upper bolt. There's only two bolts that hold the starter in, but that one is a pain in the butt. So how I got that loose and it's it was super tight too. How I got it loose was a long breaker bar, three eighths long breaker bar and a 14 millimeter deep 12 point socket. I'll show you that in a second in the setup. But that's how I was able to get it out. So I probably battled that for a good 30 minutes and uh, had a deep, deep dig or deep, <laughs> dig deep into my toolbox to find that uh, specific socket. So there you guys go. A uh, quick tip on how to get the starter out of a Toyota Tacoma 4Runner. Right here, both of the starters. Here's the old one, here's the new one. Always make sure, I don't care if you're getting a starter from the from the dealership or you're getting started from a uh, hokey doke auto zone always make sure that they match up and i've actually checked these ones already they actually do looks good there looks good there but yeah always make sure your starters or alternators match up and line up real nice and good like all right you can see that's the original starter that came on this toyota there's the one that i got from the dealership Remanufactured, all right. So some guys are leaving comments. Oh, just get a new one. Don't get a remanufactured one. Well, you know what? Toyota is not making. Can you guys see that? Toyota does, does not make on these older applications. Toyota does not make new starters or alternators. They remanufacture them. So if you have a good remanufacturer in your neighborhood, you might want to consider that if you need to save money. Here's the Toyota part number. I'll put a link down in the description below. Make it easier for you guys if you need this starter. 28100-31050. For those of you who cannot read. 84. I don't see that too much. Uh, I don't see that last number too often. But it's there too. So, All right, there you go, guys. Just uh, make sure you guys... Uh, that top bolt is the hardest one to do. So just take your time. Get a, here, let me show you the breaker bar real quick. Here's the breaker bar I used. 17, 16, 17 inch breaker bar with a 3 8 Here's my 14 millimeter 12 point socket that I had to use to get that top bolt. 14 millimeter from Lowe's Cobalt. So there you go guys. Just some quick tips on how to get this stupid starter out.